Listen up, because I've got a super sad story to tell you, but this story can help keep you and your family safe. I was hired to do a home inspection, and one of the ancillary tests that I offer is to do radon testing in homes. And this it was an inspection in Oxford, New York, and we did a radon test, and the results came back at 64 picocuries. Picocuries is the levels of radon, how they measure it. 64 is the highest level that I've ever detected. When the results were published and given to the realtors, I was told that the sellers of the home, it's an elderly couple, both have lung cancer and are selling their home to pay their medical bills. Let that sink in for a second. Radon gas in homes is the number one cause of lung cancer if you take smoking out of the equation. Don't laugh it off because radon is serious business. To learn that these people were both dying of cancer was, uh, it kind of affected me. And radon is one of those things that I don't take lightly. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is radon? Everywhere in the world, radon gas emits from the ground. And if you drill down in the earth far enough, you're going to hit uranium. Uranium decomposes and turns into something called radium. Radium off-gasses radon gas. If you lay on the grass at the park, you could be getting up to about 1.3 picocuries of exposure. The human body can withstand some level of radon. But when it concentrates inside your home, think about it, your home is closed up. The radon levels can get very high and you're breathing in that gas all day, all night while you're sleeping and it's radioactive gas. So why do I tell you guys this? Testing for radon is very inexpensive, okay? If you call a home inspector in your area and you ask them if they do radon testing, the price is gonna be anywhere from 150 bucks up to about $200 tops. That's pretty cheap. Now, this is what a radon test consists of. Two charcoal canisters with serial numbers. Peel these off the top. You leave this in your house for a minimum of 48 hours. Box it back up. You send that to the lab and they send you back a report. If you have high radon levels in your home, don't ignore it. If it's even remotely high, if it's in, if it's above three picocuries, take care of it. Radon mitigation systems are cheap and extremely effective. All they do is put a plastic pipe that protrudes below your foundation and it blows radon gas above your roof. And in my area, a radon mitigation system averages between $800 and about $1,500. They're not super expensive and it literally could save your family's lives. If you don't know what your radon levels are in your home, get a test. I don't buy into the whole regional hotspot theories about radon. I hear from a lot of people that say, oh, I don't need to test for radon because I don't live in one of the danger zones. You look at all the hotspots where they're saying radon is real bad, that's also where they're doing all the testing. When you find these hotspots that never used to be hotspots, it's because they started testing there and they started doing a lot of tests. And the more tests they do, the higher levels they were finding, and then they started doing more and more testing. It has a lot to do with the foundation in your home, it has a lot to do with your HVAC system, whether it's positive pressure, negative pressure. There's a lot that goes into it, but definitely test your home and find out because radon is everywhere in the world. Stay healthy. I care about you guys. A simple $150 test would have saved their life if they had done it a long time ago.